Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Gabrielle. Today for Vlogmas Day 9, I am going to show you guys everything that I have in my Everywhere Belt Bag from Lululemon. This is a great, great purchase. This is something that I bought and didn't anticipate how much I would actually use it and didn't anticipate how much you could actually fit in here. So I want to show you guys everything that I fit in here, kind of do like a what's in my bag of this little belt bag and I purposely didn't take anything out of it when I got home yesterday from the gym. So I will show you guys everything I have in here and I will link this down below, but this is a great Christmas gift to either gift to someone or ask for yourself. So let's just get started. Okay, so this bag is small but mighty. I primarily carry it to go to the gym and to take my dog Bear on a walk. When I take Bear on a walk, I put it as like a little fanny just because I feel like it's easier to pull the poop bags out. When I go to the gym, I always carry it like this because I just feel like it's a cute, it's like looks like a little purse almost. Um, I just fling it over my shoulder and I fit so much stuff in it. There's also a back zipper right here, which is really nice. Um, you can fit something slim if you don't want it to poof out like your cards or just something more on the slim side. I don't put anything back there. Something to keep in mind though is you cannot put this in the washing machine I was thinking that you could <laughs> because I'm super clumsy and I spilled coffee all inside of it I was really bummed and I'm like it's okay I'll wash it and I'm like hold on let me look at the care on the website and see what it says you cannot put this in the washing machine you do have to spot clean it so keep that in mind don't be clumsy like me and spill a whole coffee in there I did spot clean it though and use a wet one and it did get the coffee small thank god but you can't machine wash it. So keep that in mind, keep it clean. Okay, so the first thing I have in there is a pack of wet ones. I love having these on me. I'm clumsy, I spill things, I mess up things. I just need to have these on me and I feel like a dry paper towel or a dry napkin just doesn't do it. So I like to keep these in there. I keep those in my purse or in my car too. It's just good to have. The next thing I have in there is a pack of gum. This is my favorite gum. It's the extra polar ice and I do have the big dog pack because you just never know when you need to pop some gum in. Like after coffee, like you just need to pop a piece of gum in. So I like having this. The next thing I have in there is the nude sticks blush. It can also double as like a lip tint if you want it to this is in the color naughty and spice this is what it looks like why i keep this in there is because first off there's a brush on the other side if you just need a little flush of color i feel like this is the best product to put on because you don't have to like touch your hands with your face you literally could use the brush on the other side it's like a one and done if you just need like a quick flush of color if you're feeling very gray if you're feeling very dead and you want to look cute just throw it on so i have that on my cheeks today I have a ton of lip products in here. So the first one I have is a mini Aquaphor. Um, this is a super mini size. I got this from my dermatologist office, but I love to have, I'm almost out. I love having Aquaphor on me. The next thing I have is the Laneige. This is the peppermint scent. I love this lip mask. You guys have heard me talk about it a million times. I've had it in so many different scents, but I do like this one because it's like white and you guys know i love a good really really light lip that's like my jam so i like to pop this on before i walk into the gym and just have like a little bit of moisture a little bit of color on my lips the next lip product i have is mac lip glass in see-through i usually love oyster girl but i bought this a while ago used it a few times didn't ooh, didn't know if i was like really into it and then i used it again last week and i was like okay i'm gonna start using it again so this is a good one to pop on after aquaphor or laneige just because it is super pigmented and super white i feel like it's better when you have some like moisture underneath the next thing i have in there is probably my favorite scent of laneige besides the uh vanilla and this is the gummy bear scent so this is the lip glowy bomb this is different than this pot one right here this is a lot more i would say shiny and glossy this is a lot more thick and not as shiny i would say it still gives some moisture and it still looks good but it's not as glossy and shiny this one you have to dip your finger into this one has the applicator so i do like this if i don't want to like necessarily stick my finger in something <laughs> i do like to have this on me because i just need a lip product on at all times the next 
product I have in here is my trusty dusty AirPods. You guys, I am an AirPod regular girl. I hated the AirPod Pros. I don't know why they did not fit into my ear. And I, the noise canceling freaked me out, like it was a little too much. So I definitely prefer the regular AirPods over the AirPod Pros. Um, I did actually just clean these like a few days ago with an AirPod cleaning kit. You can get one on Amazon. I will link it down below in the description box but it's so nice it literally gets into every single nook and cranny there's like kind of like a spoolie like almost like an eyebrush looking thing that you shove down there and then in the little nooks and crannies there is a sharper little tool where you can like pick out just all the nastiness all the dirt god knows what is in your ears um and <laughs> i love doing that it was very satisfying and now they look super clean so i did that the other day i'll link that the next thing I have in there, which I usually don't keep in there, but I was wearing it yesterday. And you guys, I'm so weird. I get so like claustrophobic with things on me sometimes when I'm not used to wearing them. My Apple Watch is something I feel like I always forget to put on. Sorry, camera ran out of storage. But my Apple Watch is something that's always dead. I am horrible about charging it. I almost need to get one of those charging stations where you can literally charge this, your AirPods, and your phone. Like, because I just feel like I always forget to charge it. And then when I go and wear it, it's always dead. But I did charge it and I did wear it yesterday, but it's so weird. I'm so not used to wearing it. So I literally like halfway through the day, I took it off like after the gym because I was like, my wrist feels like it's suffocating. Like I think it's just because I'm not used to wearing something so bulky. I wear a lot of dainty jewelry and I don't know. Are you guys the same with that or am I just dramatic? But I just kind of felt claustrophobic. So I had to take it off. So I threw it in there. I usually don't keep it in there, but yes. And then there is a little pouch in here so there's a mesh pouch on one side and then on these two sides you can fit whatever you'd like actually we should reorganize this pouch while we're at it so on these two pouches i could literally fit like specific lip products like i can put my aquaphor and this and then i can put my airpods in the other one if you want it to be a little bit more organized and probably i'd be able to fit more so that's good to know. I've never put anything in those two pouches, but there's two little pouches right here. So you could keep it more organized. And then I just keep my cards and everything um, in this. You guys, my license picture is absolutely hideous. Like I can't even, <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. You guys, my license picture is absolutely horrendous. Like I am not kidding you. My first one was amazing. I loved my first license picture. I felt really good in it. I felt like I looked really pretty. Second time around when I had to take it, I think when I had to renew it when you turn 23 or somewhere around there, you have to retake your picture. And ironically, the day I had to go take my picture, the power was out. And the power was out for like eight hours. That has never happened before in my entire life. My mom's entire life, like everyone was like, what's going on? And my hair was filthy, so I washed it that morning while the power was still on, and I had a DMV appointment. I think it was during COVID, so I couldn't even switch my appointment. Like, it was this whole ordeal, and <laughs> I was so annoyed. So I showered, washed my hair. There was no lights on, couldn't do my hair. My hair was natural, and I had a greasy face. So yeah, that was horrendous. <laughs> but that's all I fit into my Lululemon bag. Also, I can always fit my phone in there too. Um, that always fits in there too, which is really nice. And I feel like this is a great, great gift. If you are someone like on the go who just likes to throw things in or doesn't like to carry a big purse around all the time, this is great. This is great for going on walks, hikes, going to the gym, daily stuff. Um, if you're not into carrying a big purse, I just feel like it's nice and easy. But thank you guys for watching my what's in my bag-esque video of my everywhere belt bag from Lululemon. I will see you guys very soon.